Dear brothers and sisters, we have all gathered in the name of our Lord, whom we love the most in life, who is our God and our Savior. We want to give him a great procession with a royal entry, raising palms in our hands, branches, singing Hosanna to the Lord, the King. And this is the most important entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, where everything comes to accomplishment. This is what had to happen in order that the Lord saves you and me. Dear brothers and sisters, it looks a great entry of Jesus in Jerusalem where people welcome him, Jesus coming on a donkey with a royal entry in Jerusalem and people raised their hands, their hearts and their voices singing Hosanna the, to the king of David, to the king who is God himself, to the king who will rule over us. Dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is our king. We worship him, we adore him. We pray the whole day to Jesus for all our needs. But you see, now after the five weeks of our dedicated prayer and commitment in going to church, attending Way of the Cross, and many other devotions, including prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, is all connected and deviated here. Remembering the sufferings of Christ, who was welcomed with branches in their hands, and now the people drag him to the most crucial time of pain. It is a mental pain it's a bodily pain where he suffers physically and how it can be for you and for me if we were in the place of Jesus. Jesus accepts all the sufferings for you and for me in order to save all of us. How grateful we should be at this great person who is God, in whose name we live, in whose name we are here at this time, because he has saved us. This week, from Passion Sunday till the Holy Saturday, we are going to reflect on the strict form of knowing, understanding, and practicing that which the Lord went through in our hearts, in our minds, and feel it in our own being. Jesus could have easily escaped from sufferings, but he wanted to keep up to the will of God to the whole humanity. He cooperates in the plan of God, his Father, and therefore the people who were against and negative, they drag him under the cross and with the cross to Calvary. There they nail him and hang him 
on the cross. Our Savior, our God, who has suffered. My dear brothers and sisters, this season of Lent, the Holy Week, invites you and me to be very much connected to this sorrowful time to reflect and see how Jesus suffered and how it is me who is the cause of his sufferings. In my life, I may be rejoicing in his name, but many a times by my life, by my character, by my habits, my, by my way of life, I have brought Jesus upon the cross suffering for me. He's still hanging on the cross because of me. My dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect on our life and see how and how often are we crucifying Jesus? How often are we giving the burden of the heavy weight upon him? Knowingly, unknowingly, and he's still dragging, pulling the cross for my sake. Dear Lord, I pray to you at this time to give me the strength and courage that I may have that true faith in you and that I may live the true Christian life today and every day. Amen.